No, no, we're recording now because oh. this little thing's all hooked up, you see. All right. So, the cool fun part is we're on a little trip. Um, you don't want to get in front of the camera? Yeah, mm -hmm. not yet. Um, I have an itchy boob. That's fantastic. That's definitely going to go in the... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not editing this. You know this, right? No, no, no. So just for, for everybody's information, uh, Dia Beltran has an itchy boob. <laughs> not offering to scratch it because um, scratch it. The, the awkward part there is, I mean, anybody who's seen she hasn't got any boobs. What are you talking about? That's just very true. Anyway, all bullshit and jokes aside, we're on a bit of a road trip. We're going down to meet up with um, MMA superstar from Resolute TV, Arlene Engafis-Blanco. We're doing a little deal with her uh, for her upcoming championship fight because she's a fucking legend um and on the trip we've just come across the grave of johnny gilbert anyone who doesn't know johnny gilbert was a fairly famous australian bush ranger died at 23 Aww. out near Bynalong in new south wales regional new south wales uh he was part of ben hall's gang so there's been a couple of movies and tv shows and things that he sort of made appearances in but we just sort of thought we'd call over on the side of the road and have a little bit of a bit of a look because, well, it's interesting, and um, we're just going to go up and have a little squeeze at the squeeze at the grave because we can. So we'll, we'll go for a little wander up, wander up and have a look at this this bush ranger's grave. I mean, technically speaking, we're all sort of outlaws in 2020, or well, most of us are. Um, Dad always raised us on stories of bush rangers and outlaws and things, and that was all pretty cool. And yeah, we just sort of thought while we were coming along here, this would be pretty interesting. Show Dia some actual real Australian history, not just the history of, I don't know. The Bible? The, Bi but the Bible's not even real history. Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yeah. I haven't seen any graves for them. If you go to the country of Armenia, one of their Armenians has no idea. Even Armenians don't like to go to the country of Armenia. Why would, why would it? <laughs> That's not there. Original home. I'm only joking. So anyway, this guy was shot by police. Oh um, my gosh, this is your future. His past is your future. Oh well, you know, if they're brave enough. Uh, hang on, what's it say? It says, Johnny Gilbert, 1842 to 1865. I'm pretty sure he's 23 years old when he died. Well, uh, in memory, in memory, not loving memory, but I suppose it's only a small rock. What's it say up here? Johnny Gilbert Bushranger was shot dead by Constable John Bright in a battle with police near Bynalong on Saturday 13th of May 1865. He's 25 years old at the time of his death. Uh, he'd followed a life of crime for 12 years and was the most reckless villain of the, of the Gardner Hall gangs. Um, on the credit side, it can be said that he was a splendid horseman, a deadly shot, uh, Game with his fists or with a gun, always polite to women, and of ir irrepressible good humour and witty speech. On Tuesday, the 16th of May 1865, the body of Flash Johnny Gilbert was buried in the police paddock near B the Bynalong Township. Uh, That's so insane that it says he was polite to women, and in today's day and age, our uh, figures are actually quite nasty and rude and ungentlemanly to women. Um, this guy was a criminal, but he was polite to women. That's really well, But nice. it's arguable chivalry's dead and feminism killed it. Yes. To be fair. Just that distinction was lovely. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sort of look at it, things from a hundred years ago or different, different time and different, different world. Attitudes. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So we might, when we, when we cruise on for the rest of this little trip, we'll just why not because we can. I mean, it's not a bad little resting spot, I suspect. I mean, you've got to be dead somewhere, I guess. And here's, here's the other side of it, you know, if, it, if at the age of 25 your death is marked by a grave that with a sign on the side of the road, you've obviously made some sort of an impact, negative or positive, on life. You've lived a life, well and truly, even if it was only a short, explosive yeah. one. Oh, I don't matter. Nobody wants to look at my buffet. Everybody knows what I look like. Look at that precious little face. Oh, I'm so precious. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so this is interesting. Um, and just a little uh, Resolute TV, um, we'll photograph Claudia trying to walk, which is quite funny because she's really not a country girl. Efficient. She's very inefficient, yes. Efficient. Deficient. Inefficient, however you'd like to put it. Stop it. I have an iron deficiency and I get dizzy. 
No iron deficiency, you get dizzy. But yeah, look, I look at these bush rangers and stuff, and as I said, Dad, Dad used to raise us on stories of them all, Thunderbolt and Captain Thunderbolt and Ben Hall and all these sort of guys. So it was just a bit of an opportunity to share with you guys a little bit of, little bit of Australian outlaw history, which is in the current climate is probably fairly pertinent, I would imagine. Is he in the same category as someone like Ned Kelly? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yes. So uh, in the same bush ranger category, the stories are obviously different, like all individuals, as us libertarians would say, everyone has their own individual story, but, you know, robbing, robbing stagecoaches and banks and post offices and things like that was order of the day to put food on the table. And some of them, I think, just like being outlaws. So that's pretty cool, little little uh, detour. Uh, check him out. I might actually put in a few. I've got a bit of a half-baked editor here, so we might even put some facts and figures through. And we'll edit it out and make it like a cool. What's your editing it? No, I've got to leave in the bit about your boobs. <laughs> and if we say that enough, there's no way we'll get it out of there. Anyway, we'll see what we can come up with. It could be fun. <laughs>